Since their recent buff, the 7.62x39 calibre assault rifles have become something of a meta, and the AK-103 is the best of all of them. Hi guys, I'm Rogue Squid. If you're new to the channel, or haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any future content. The AK-103 is available from Prapper at loyalty level 3 for 48,000 rubles. It is fully automatic, has a decent rate of fire, is highly customizable and packs a devastating punch. There are three ammo types I would suggest for the AK-103. The 7.62x39 PS rounds are the budget choice. They're cheap, they're available from level 1 traders and they pack a reasonable punch. 7.62x39 BP rounds are my personal favourite. They do high damage, have high penetration, are pretty cheap to purchase or craft and will even penetrate level 6 armour. Finally, 7.62x39 MAI AP rounds are super high penetration and decent damage, however they can only be found in raid and they're very expensive on the flea market, so I tend not to bother with them. So for our budget build, we're going to take our AK-103 and we're going to remove the stock handguard. Now the AK Polymer 100 series for, uh, handguard can go on, the RK6 foregrip can go on, the recoil butt pad can go on, and I typically use the OKP7 reflex sight with this build, the one on the dovetail mount. Uh, it's a good all round sight and it works quite well. Um, and this build is ready to go. This will cost you in total including the weapon about 79,000 from the traders So it's a good budget budget build overall. It's got 90 vertical recoil, 55 uh, ergonomics Making it a good all-round budget build Next our day-to-day -day build so with our AK-103 we're going to strip off the handguard the dust cover the rear sight needs to come off as well, and the muzzle brake. Then we can add the new Bastion dust cover, the CAA handguard, we can put the AFG grip underneath there, and the recoil pad on the back, plus the PBS silencer on the front. And this build comes to about 127k overall from the traders. Uh, it's got 80 vertical recoil, so a slight reduction on the uh, budget build. It has got 44 ergonomics, but then you always lose a bit with the suppressor. It's a, it's a good build overall, this one. And finally, our meta build. So for this, we're going to have to strip off basically everything. We're going to take the stock off, we're going to take the rear sight off, we're going to take the dust cover off, the pistol grip, the muzzle brake, the stock handguard and the gas tube all need to come off. And so we can add the new US Palm pistol grip in. We can add the Troy combo handguard. This one is actually a gas block in the same thing. This one's the, the new meta one, basically 5% recoil reduction, 10 ergonomics. That goes on the front there. The Bastion dust cover again. We can stick, now you'll need a PT lock for this one. Goes on there, the PT3 stock. That's again, the best one in class. The charging handle is only a small upgrade, but with a build like this, the extra plus one ergo is a good thing. Now, for this handguard, you'll need a couple of mounts. You'll need the QARS 4.2 inch guide, that goes underneath there, and the 3.1 inch guide, a uh, 3.2 inch guide, sorry, which goes, I believe, on the side here. And you can then add an RK2 grip for the added recoil reduction. And finally, the JMAC RRD 4C uh, for AK74 uh, muzzle brake. That one goes on the front there. That's the biggest recoil reduction overall. That brings this down to a terrifyingly low 57 vertical recoil and a whoppingly high 66 ergonomics. That's a crazy high build. With a sight on this and, and a torch on the side, there's pretty much nothing this weapon can't do. Overall, it comes to 153,000 as well, which for a meta build is not actually that much. And finally, these are the three mags that I suggest using with the AK-103. The Palm US AK-30 mag, which comes in two colours. 
the Ismash Aluminium Mag, which is just in aluminium, but it's a 30 rounder anyway. And the PMAG 30 for AK, which again, it comes in two colours, but normally I only use the black. Uh, these three mags are all very usable. They all come with a slight buff to loading and unloading. Yeah, they're all pretty inexpensive as well. Um, also, we've got the hammer sight with the delta point reflex sight built in on top. This is a more expensive sight overall, but it is one of the better ones I find. Uh, you've also got the Elcan, uh, it comes in two colours. Uh, I find this sight to be an inexpensive but very, very usable sight uh, over lots of ranges. Uh, in terms of tactical devices, there are two I suggest the X400 and the Zenit P2 Klish. Uh, both of these have a normal flashlight, a flashlight and laser mode, and a laser mode. They're both quite inexpensive at around 10k rubles and both very easy to use. Now if you haven't tried it yet, or are put off by the slower fire rate of the AKs compared to weapons like the M4A1 for example, I really suggest trying the AK-103 out. Often even the most heavily armoured PMCs are no match for this beast of a weapon. Thanks for watching guys. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more. Cheers.